Hey, happy Tuesday, guys. We're, we're talking about the importance of spiritual training and spiritual growth. I believe, it's, I believe it's the will of God for all of us to be trained. I believe, I believe it's God's will for all of us to grow, not to stay where we are, but to continue to, to move forward or to matriculate through this process of our spiritual journey, of our spiritual life. Now, David says this over in Psalm 32. He says, you are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way that you should go, and I will guide you with my eye. So God is concerned, literally God is concerned about every detail, every aspect of your life. Of course, we talked about instruct yesterday. Uh, Today we're going to talk about teach. You know, the word teach uh, literally means to point out. It means to show. It means to, (laughs) interesting, it means to throw water. I, I, I thought that was good. And it means to direct or instruct. And so Proverbs chapter four, let's, let's, Let's take a peek there. It says, it says this. It says, hear my children the instruction of a father and give attention to no understanding. For I will give you, he says, good doctrine. Do not forsake my law. When I was my father's son, tender and only in the sight of my mother, he also taught me and said to me, this is so key. He says, let your heart retain my words and com- keep my commandments And he says, and live. I'm going to say it again. He says, let your heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. So I I believe it's important that we begin to literally ask God for our children, our our young people, to have respect, a respectful ear for their parents' instruction or for anyone in authority, for that matter. Let's let's believe it. begin to ask God for that. For your children, maybe you have nieces or nephews or, or maybe you have neighbors, but begin to, to ask God that they have an ear to hear, an ear, a respect for ear for those in authority. What's another thing that this verse says to us? These verses also highlight the responsibility of a father to teach his children. Now, we're not taking anything away from the mom, but I believe God really wants the dads, if we were to step up, in their spiritual role, in their spiritual responsibility. And, and I believe it, 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 it would just do, do, do wonders in the life of families. And number three is we need to know good doctrine so we can teach good doctrine to our children. So I, I, can't, give some, I can't give somebody something I don't know myself. And so, so we give what we know. We, we attract who we are. And so it's so important that we receive good doctrine so we can get back out good doctrine. And then let's look again at Proverbs 4 again. He says, he also taught me and said to me, let your heart retain my words, keep my commandments, and live. And really to, con- to cultivate a receptive heart requires us to, commun- to communicate, excuse me, the importance of our instruction. I, I believe we have to really Nobody wants to be taken for granted. Let let me just slow down and say it like that. But we have to recognize when when, when a person is instructing us, we got to give them 100%. You know, we got to be focused right in. We, we can't be doing something else. We really got to focus in on what they're saying so we can receive it, especially in, in, a, in a classroom kind of setting or, or dealing with parents and different things like that. You know, it's so important that we're able to receive that. And then faithfully teach and communicate God's truth. That's, that's good doctrine. So the obedience to the commands can mean the difference. This may be hard to take for some people. It can mean the difference between life and death. You know, nobody wants to, to have their life cut short, but I believe it's very important that we can kind of look back on how are you handling or how did you receive instruction. And so it's so important that we understand the importance of instruction. And we, and we see this over in Ephesians 6. Ephesians 6 lays it out. He says, he says, this children, he says, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with, with promise that it may be well with you and to, that you may live long upon the earth. So our life, our life expectancy based on this verse is literally tied to us honoring those in authority, honoring our parents, honoring uncles and aunts and teachers and principals and coaches, all those things. Our life expectancy 
I believe Paul is saying that to us, and even over in Proverbs, it's tied to that. And so, again, remember Psalm 32, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go, and I will guide you with my eye. Come on, say it again. It is God's will for me to be trained spiritually and to grow spiritually in the name of Jesus. Thank you for listening to the Faith for Today podcast. Enjoy your Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Thank you.